We should try this. Let's actually try con controlling the Bioloid with the um, through the with the Dynamax oil through a Raspberry Pi. So I need a Easy B though because my <laughs> my Bioloid doesn't have an Easy B on the back of it. So let me go grab one. I'll be right back. Okay, I also grabbed a camera because the Bioloid doesn't actually have a camera on it and I've been meaning to give it one. So maybe we'll do that too. Um, I plugged in the hot glue gun, so we'll, we'll hot glue the magnet on later, but for the time being, we're just gonna hook this easy B up to it. It's my adjustable power supply. So I think it likes 11 volts. 11.1, 11.2, sure, that sounds fine. So since I don't have a, ba a battery for my Bioloid, I'm gonna give it juice right from this thing. There we go. Eleven point one. I got eleven point two. I like breaking the rules. Just, just enough. Just by point one. I'm point one a rebel. That's my measurement. Cool. And if we click open on the Pi, and then click on my files. There's our Bioloid project we just saved on the cloud. So we'll download it onto the Pi. And there it is. And that's with the Dynamaxel control. Um, I would like to do a test before we connect this to the, to the Bioloid. I would like to close down Easy Builder. And then I would like to, this is, this is going to be something kind of interesting. Um, I want to delete this easy builder folder here. This has all our plugins in it. I'm going to go into the plugins folder and I'm going to delete this plugin. This is the, the Dynamics plugin that was installed there. Okay. So now when we run, Easy Builder, it's not going to know of the plugin. So when I load the project, do you think this Linux version of Easy Builder is going to be able to go to the internet and download the, the plugin and install it for me? <laughs> I don't think so, but I'm, that's what I want to try. So I'm going to click open on the App Store, go to My Files, because if we were in Windows, Easy Builder would go to the internet and say, oh, you don't have this plugin, and it would go download it for you and install it. I'm not sure, I don't think it's gonna do that in Linux. Let's find out. So I'm gonna click on the project here, or the uh, app. Okay, here's my message. This project requires a third-party user plugin that is not installed on your system. Would you like to install it? Heck yes. The project requires a third party plugin, not installed. You want to install it? Yes, I said. Uh oh. I'm in an infinite loop of. <laughs> infinite loop. So it doesn't. This feature doesn't work. So it's best that I demo this to you. Remember, we're still in beta for this version, so that's good. Okay. So we know. <laughs> canceled. Yes, we are canceled. All right. So let's, let's manually install the plugin one more time. So it should be inside of downloads. There it is. So we'll go into Easy Builder Pi folder. We'll run our Easy Builder plugin manager and we'll pass it the parameter of the plugin that we downloaded. 
there. So now the plugin's installed, so now we can go back and download our our app. Cool, I like testing. It's fun to break stuff. Then it gives it gives people more work to more work to do when I break things and they're like, oh we didn't think of that, DJ had to test it. Okay, so here is our auto position and here's our Dynamaxwell. So if I click on the gear, I should be able to edit. Look at that, I can edit the Dynamaxwell configuration here. Sweet! It's got all my check boxes from Windows. And I've got my baud rate, and I got my test buttons. And I have an auto position here. Let's go into this. Look at that, there's my auto position. Here's my positions that I had created. And can I edit port mode? Look at that, I can edit the port, I can click on it. it Popped up the window. Man, super cool. So this is Easy Builder running on, on Linux on a Raspberry Pi, very wild. So I'm gonna click on this button here because we're gonna connect to um, the Easy B. There we are. Okay. So we're connected to the EZB's wireless network, and now I should be able to push connect. And there we go, we're connected to, according to this, we're connected to the, uh, the Byloid. Let's take a look and see what kind of data we got back when we connected to it. I'm just going to add the debug window to this because we can see all the debug information that was sent, that was, uh, sent to us here. So let's take a look. Um, so it tells my screen resolution connected to the, it's probably hard for you guys to read, it's hard for me to read too. It's a small screen, but it says uh, the firmware version is, a, is an EZB 4.2x and it supports the following capabilities. So it looks like this is a regular EZB. It detected everything. That's pretty cool. It says here that it will use the camera It'll stream video. So we should be able to use the video streaming with Easy Builder too. We'll try that out. Um, here's our battery voltage. Um, it says the battery voltage is 11.02, so a little bit of loss going into the EZB, through the EZB into the servos, but that's cool. Remove this control, yeah. Can I do this too? Can I click on Smart Arrange? Oh yeah, look at that, it's fast. Okay, so let's go into, let's, let's put them into the standing or initialization position. So I'm just gonna say transition into. And if you look in this little window on the right here, we should see him move into, uh, into his position. Let's do it. Huh, oh, <laughs> nobody pointed that out. We forgot to plug the servos <laughs> into the, into the easy B. Come on guys, we're doing this together. Um, here we are here. So this is supposed to go into port D5 and D6. So D5 and D6. There we go. Okay, let's try it again. Let's push into um, initialization. Oh, that's how we fell off the table last time. <laughs> Jeremy's gonna watch this video later and be like, man, DJ's gonna stop breaking robots. Cool, okay, so let's put him into the stand position. We'll hit transition to. Nice. And then we'll transition into here. This is all working on the Pi. That is awesome. Very, very cool.